And here's the thing. You've got to make a decision at some point, all of you listening, I had to make the same decision at some point. Philosophically, theologically, practically, mathematically, financially, relationally, is debt the way to get stuff done? Is debt at the end of the story, 10 years out, 20 years out, five years out, is debt really the most efficient methodology? And I'll tell you, 100% of the time, the answer is no. 100% of the time. It's an absolute fact. It never works like you think it's going to work. Ever. You ever see those ads, easy payments? Do you know those people are lying? You ever had an easy payment? I never had an easy payment. I had a $103.43 payment on Sharon's engagement ring. I paid $1,100 at a jewelry store for <laughs> 0.24 carats. That's not even a fourth of a carat. It didn't even get up to the fourth of a carat. This is known as a chip. And I paid $103 in easy payments. It was never an easy payment on that ring. Every time I wrote that check, and this was old school. They carried the they carried the debt in the store. You went in the store physically and paid the debt. So old school. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. That hundred and three. That was so much money. I didn't. That was so much money. I can't believe I had that payment. Gas was a dollar twelve. I'm paying a hundred and three dollars and forty three cents a month for a chip. There's no such thing as easy payments, folks. The borrower is slave to the lender. And it never says, accept student loans. That's not the next verse in the Bible. The next verse in the Bible is not, accept in business. The next verse in the Bible is not, oh, it's not any of that. The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is slave to the lender. There's not a caveat. There's not a release mechanism. 100% of the time, you're not going to hell. It's not a sin, and it's certainly not a salvation issue, but 100% of the time that debt is mentioned in the scriptures, it's a negative mention. It's a curse. You're a fool. You're a slave. Every time it's mentioned, that's what it says. And I decided I didn't want to be a cursed fool slave because I've been a cursed fool slave. $103.43 a month for a chip. Kind of little redneck hillbilly idiot was I. Jeez, man. Wearing my disco clothes, going into that jewelry store and giving him my C note plus $3.43. Never again. Never again. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. Thank you.